Now, before we continue to launch Neo4j, we need to check what our computer IP address is so that we can connect to it. Simply go into search, open up the command prompt again, then type ipconfig. From all of this, go to the first biggest paragraph and then find this IPv4 address. This will be our internal IP address where you can access to this computer as long as you're on the same network. To start our Neo4j server, we'll have to open up a new command prompt. Go into here, change the directory to our Neo4j server folder. Then we'll have to navigate into the Neo4j community server. Once you're in here, you have to navigate to the bin folder to start our server. Simply type cd bin neo4j console. Now, another way for you to start this is typing neo4j start. But for the sake of this video, we'll be going with neo4j console. Type and press enter. And neo4j will begin launching itself. It's saying right here to start starting neo4j. And we are waiting for here until Neo4j is finished starting. There. You would, what you want is this last line where it said info started. This means Neo4j is now available for us to access through a browser. Simply create a new, open up a new tab on browser using our previous IP address that we had. Then, colon, then we need to go to the HTTP of the R4J that we enabled, 7474. Enter. As you recognize, the name of the tab is from change to Neo4j browser. Here, we're going in with username and password. Our username, created by default by Neo4j, will be Neo4j all lowercase. The password will be the same. This is only available for you on the first time you're logging in, connecting into Neo4j. Simply click Connect. And now you'll be, you'll be asked immediately to change into a new password. In this case, I've chosen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Repeat it again. <clears throat> then change password. This information is now stored onto your computer so that whenever you open, you don't have to redo all of this again. No. Now that is for Neo4j. What about Neo Dash? <clears throat> For Neo Dash, we we'll need to open a new command prompt. From here, you do the same with navigating. But instead of going to Neo4j community, we'll be going just into the Neo4j server. So we'll be typing cd slash d. Then we'll actually be going into Neo Dash. Once you're here in Neo Dash, you have to use yarn to run Neo4j Neo Dash. Simply type yarn run dev. Once you've seen the yarn run dev has run this last line, content is not from this, it's served from our public directory. You can simply open up a new browser tab, type the address. But instead of going to port 7474 of the HTTP, we'll go to port 3000. That is our Neo Dash. Once you're in here, Neo Dash is successfully running. It has its name up here and ready. Now, however, we cannot connect to a Neo4j desktop if, as it, like before, and we don't have an existing dashboard, so we'll be creating our Neo Dashboard. Here you can see that how we're connecting Neo4j, we're not using Neo4j protocol, we're using Bolt connector. And the host name, we just leave it at localhost. What's important here is the port. And we'll be using our Neo4, our same credentials as we have for Neo4j browser. Same username, but the password it will be the new password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Simply click connect. And now you're in. This dashboard is directly linked to this Neo4j browser. From here, we can load the pre-designed dashboard you choose to. We had a pre-designed dashboard before in the download folder. 
this one when we can open it up and we can copy everything onto our neo dash from neo dash go to load dashboard over here select this empty box and then simply paste it all once you have pasted it all scroll all the way up and select load dashboard this dashboard is now available for you to use however this dashboard is using some data that we have not imported into neo4j how do you do that you go into another you go into another folder where we have the lineage tsv available for us before copy this one move into neo4j server neo4j community and then go to import simply paste the file here now some might wonder if you have to restart your server for this but you don't have to this this is available live for you so when you closed it and you go to the browser that we have had it before you can go to neo dash and click this import data where if you go check back on now neo4j browser you'll see that it changed in to having nodes here available and relationship available also everything else in our dashboard is now also available the data can be presented here now after we're finished opening and using this neo dash and neo4j you want to close it that will be available in the next video